Hey, welcome to Flight Test. I'm Josh and this is Peter. Hey guys. And I've always wanted to fly a plane underwater. So Peter is going to show us how to waterproof your plane so that you can do that. Maybe not so much. So what we're gonna do is we're actually gonna peel the paper off to put the paper back on. We're peel gonna... the paper off to put it back on. And are you putting this paper back on? Actually, we're gonna put this stuff back okay, on. Okay, because you're tearing yeah. it. This is like craft paper. It's also like masking paper. You can get it at like Walmart's like two or three bucks for a whole roll. I, I highly recommend you only do this to just fuselages. Not the wings and stuff. The minwax, the the oil-based stuff is still the way to go for that. For the flatter, just one-sided surfaces. But for the three-dimensional stuff, this stuff works really good for making it a lot stronger and easily repairable. All right. Cool. Now that our fuselage has molted, uh, we're gonna put the craft paper on. Yep. We're put the okay. craft paper on. All right. So you want a piece about the size of the fuselage. I mean, you don't have you don't have to do this in one shot. You can do it in multiple segments. Okay. But since this is such a small plane, we'll just go ahead and do it in one sheet. Right now I'm just cutting the size just to get one whole face of the um, plane. I'm just cutting a little bit so there's a bit of an overhang on all the surfaces. Cut this in here. Nice orient to fit a little bit better. Uh, yeah. Okay. So once we got that done, we're going to open our can of Minwax Polyacrylic. This is actually the water-based stuff. It's not the oil-based because uh, I tried this with the oil-based, but it, the paper won't stick to the foam at all. It just rolls right off. And before we put this on, we're just going to paint the surface get that all wet because um, when you put the liquid stuff on the paper will kind of shrink and stretch a little bit so we want it to go and shrink and stretch to the dimensions it wants to be before we lay it onto the airplane this is just like a foam paintbrush you can really use anything I guess like a wet napkin or something so you want total coverage on both sides yeah both sides because okay. then this is works really well okay now we're going to paint the surface we're gonna apply it to just a light coat it's mostly water-based, so a lot of it just dries off, and then it hardly adds any weight at all to the airplane. You a big milk drinker? I wouldn't drink that. That's not milk? It'll make your insides waterproof. I had some. You'll see sometimes it doesn't stick very well, so you're just going to take an additional bit of uh, polycrylic and just wipe it under there okay. and reapply it. Just to make sure it sticks down real nice. You don't want any like bubbles or anything like that? Yeah, right? try to get rid of all the bubbles. Just squeegee them out. Okay. Now we're gonna go and wrap all these surfaces around the corners, so we're gonna cut a bunch of relief cuts. So that way it doesn't get all bunched up around the corners. Yeah. Okay. And the nice thing too is that even if you do bunch it up around the corners, you can just sand it off when you get to the um, sanding point before okay. you finish it. Cool. So this this is actually a really easy method. So once you get one whole side, you're gonna wanna do the whole face. So there's really nothing really special about it. So just like a cooking show, we're gonna get another piece. Okay. Nice. Here's another one. So this is, uh, this is done uh, about like a few hours ago. It's totally dry, you can see all the papers on there. You can look how the corners are done. It's pretty nice looking, fairly finished. It's a bit tougher than the paper too. Right now it's actually okay to just go ahead and paint. You can finish it any way you want. But for those who want like the glossiest finish, there's actually a mix up here of baby powder, which is basically talcum powder and the, the, this stuff. I was wondering why that was there. I was gonna ask if you used it for yourself. That's a one to one ratio mix of this stuff and that stuff okay. in a cup. It's kind of like a slurry, you can kind of see how it's like kind of thick. So we're just gonna paint this on, but hey Josh, you wanna try it? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Go. Now, dip that in there and that's just about it. What's the uh, purpose of this mix? Basically that's like the talc powder and this stuff mixed together. And once it dries, it's like, it's kind of like a lighter, easier to sand version of this stuff. Okay. It's like a bit of a thicker layer. So when you sand it down, you can take out all the imperfections, the surfaces, like bumps. I know we're getting a little, a little picky on your own planes. So, you know, it's not everyone's gonna do this. It's Ooh, very optional. Good. Yeah. So the more of these layers you do, the smoother the surface will be. It'll be almost like glass too, depending on how much you want to finish it. And the further uh, yeah. below the water, you can, you can take yep. it when yeah. you go underwater. So you can fight some submarines and squids and whatnot too. That's awesome. Right. That so we're good. gonna take this outside and let this dry okay. and we'll sand it from there. All right. Okay, so now since we let this thing dry, it's been about like maybe 10, 10 or so minutes. It's been on the sun. Yeah, really light, so it dries really quick. Okay. You can see the change of surface a little bit. So now we're gonna take some 220 grit sandpaper mm -hmm. and just lightly finish the surface. Okay. So the more you basically keep doing this, the more imperfections you'll take out, like bumps and stuff. So you can keep doing it till it's like a completely flat surface, depending on how, how well you wanna work on it. This also makes it accept any type of paint too, no matter how acidic, like full on car paint, whatever. Nice. Whatever, whatever the propellants are, it'll it'll take it to fine. Here, feel that. <laughs> just pet it. That's nice. All right, so once you're done with that, waterproof. now a finished product that we have of this mm -hmm. is Dipper back here. You can see this one, I didn't actually do the water, the water-based polyurethane powder mix stuff. I just went on and just did like two layers of that stuff and just painted it. We were in a rush for that, so didn't spend a lot of time doing that. So you can see it does show up a little bit, but it's not too bad and it got a little tougher. 
So Peter, give us a just a overall general recap. Peel off all the paper you got. Don't try to put this on top of the existing paper because if you do, it'll just fall right off. So get rid of all the old paper, put the new paper on, do a couple layers of the uh, water-based polyurethane stuff, cut your relief cuts. Don't worry too much about a little bit of overlapping layers. You can just sand it down because you're just sanding paper and paper is basically wood. Do a couple of light coats of the baby powder, water-based stuff mix if you want like an ultra smooth finish. And you can do as many as, as many, many as you want. Rounds of sanding and coating and sanding and coating as you want yep. to. Until you get your lungs infected and you have to go to the hospital. That sounds like fun. <laughs> so then we can wrap up with that. And you and just ready for painting? Painting, hitting, flying. All right, thanks Peter and thanks you guys for watching. See you next time. Yep. Let's go paint this.